is up guys welcome back to another episode of the fantasy fellow show my name is kyle in this video it is july 27th uh, almost 5 p.m central time here we're gonna be going over the adp risers and fallers over on the best ball sites underdog drafters and DraftKings. there's a lot of movements and again i update i update these adps uh every wednesday i'm recording this on a thursday so i'm, I'm behind the day but we will get into a screen share here and i will show you guys who's moving up and who's moving down the draft boards there and the reason why i like to look at these is because people are paying money for these best ball drafts so there's a lot of a uh, lot of weight to these adp swings and uh, you can access all of these uh, in the link in the description there should be underdog drafters and DraftKings. We're going to start with underdog in this one here and underdog is half PPR. So that's uh, a slight difference in, in the ADP movement, but uh, otherwise DraftKings and drafters are both full PPR, but let's get into it. The underdog risers and fallers. I'm going to click on that tab right there and let's just see what's up again. So these are the, the biggest risers and fallers from the past week. I update these every Wednesday. So we have seven days worth of data here. Uh, and it looks like the biggest riser, over on underdog is second year running back Zamir White. Of course, Josh Jacobs with his holdout. Uh, he's not in Las Vegas right now. He's not in training camp. He looks to be pretty serious about not showing up until there is a new deal done. So he Zamir White is the number two running back there in the Raiders system. They also have some pass catchers, Brandon Bolden and Amir Abdullah. Uh, but so far, uh, Zamir is RB60. He's up to 190, and his old ADP was 203, so he's up almost a full round. And he's probably going to keep climbing. I think we're going to see him on the list again next week. Leonard Fournette, the other big riser here, up nine spots. Basically the same ADP as Zamir White, both being drafted around 190. I'm not sure what round that is. Maybe the 15th or 16th round, something like that in that range. And Fournette, there's smoke to him being signing with the New England Patriots. Uh, there's also smoke today about uh, Dalvin Cook signing with the Jets. We'll probably touch on that in the in the risers and followers next week here. But Leonard Fournette, he's going to sign somewhere soon. I think he wants to be in training camp with the team. And the Patriots are probably the lead candidate to sign Leonard Fournette. Uh, let's see. Richie James, the other biggest riser here. And this correlates with probably one of the biggest fallers that we're going to talk about in a little bit. And that's Kadarius Toney. Uh, but anyways, Richie James, he's stepping up at, tra at training camp here for the Chiefs. He's up 7.4 spots. He's in the 200 still, but to draft him, you pretty much have to draft him in the 180s, 190s right now. It's, it's hard to get him at that ADP. So he's going to keep climbing up boards. Uh, the Chiefs roster as far as wide receivers depth chart, it's going to probably go MVS. He's going to probably play the most snaps, but then there's Sky Moore. There's the rookie Rashi Rice, and there's also Richie James. So uh, Justin Ross is in there too as well. You can see there's three Chiefs on this list, Richie James, uh, Justin Ross, and then Sky Moore. Uh, but I like Richie James. I think he's going to be a guy that uh, gets a lot of attention from Patrick Mahomes, and he's he's going to make the team. He's going to be on special teams. He's going to catch a lot of passes, and I like Richie James. I'm continuing to buy him up the board. Ryan Tannehill still moving up draft boards right now. After they, they signed DeAndre Hopkins, Tannehill's been on the move, uh, and rightfully so. There's Justin Ross, who we talked about. It sounds like he's got a really good chance of making the team uh, as like the wide receiver five. Sam Laporta, the other big mover here for the Detroit Lions. He's up four spots. You can get him probably in the 13th, 14th round right now. He's going off the boards as tight end 20, so he can be your tight end two, maybe even your tight end three if you wait uh, for him there. I like Laporta. It sounds like he's off to a good start in training camp. Miko Hardman, Jets wide receiver. He's got an ADP of wide receiver 85 in the 200s. Um, so you can see a lot of movement in the back end of fantasy drafts. And that's where a lot of these risers and fallers are both going to be happening. Uh, all these guys here pretty much are one of your last picks of your drafts. Not sure these guys are redraft players yet here, but we'll take note. Miko Hardman, I do think he's going to be uh, involved in the Jets offense as their number three receiver. Don't know if he's a redraft guy. I think he's more of a best ball candidate for me. Um, Javante Williams. Moving up boards here after he was not placed on the PUP list to start training camp, which is a huge win. Uh, that's a huge win for a guy coming off of a multi-ligament knee surgery. Both his MCL and ACL got reconstructed over this over the year, uh, but he's moving up boards and he's now like approaching the eighth early eighth round. Uh, if you sit and wait, you can grab Javante Williams and pair him with some other running backs that that maybe Javante gets off to a slow start, but if you pair him with you know, whether it's Jamal Williams or something like that, you can, you can get some, you know, you can find a way to, to get Javante Williams 
on your team and make sure that he's on your team come December. Cause I think he's going to be a slow ramp up guy that, you know, come playoffs and fantasy football, you're going to want Javante on your team. Uh, there's Sky Moore who is now firmly inside the top 100 of ADPs two weeks ago. He was like in the 10th, 11th round. Now he is, He's listed as a ninth round ADP, but you have to take him in the eighth round if that's where you want him. Uh, Jeff Wilson moving up uh, boards here as well. Same with Kyler Murray, Tank Bigsby, Alvin Kamara. Uh, these guys all aren't moving up too much there. They're all about three picks, uh, but I'll continue to read off some of the names here. Greg Dulcich, Zay Flowers moving up because of the injuries to Bateman and just Odell Beckham being kind of older. Uh, I think we're going to see the Miami Dolphins running backs uh, in the top 10 of this list next week, because I don't think Dalvin Cook is going to sign with the Dolphins. If the Dolphins don't sign a back, that means Raheem Mostert, Jeff Wilson, these guys are the two starters. And then they do have the rookie Devon A. Chain, who's going to mix in on third downs and some other work. Uh, so I like buying both Dolphins backs right now. James Robinson moving up, Jimmy Garoppolo moving up. Uh, same with Michael Carter, Rashawn Johnson. So a lot of movers here. You guys can check out the link for yourself. Uh, I do want to touch base on the fallers over on Underdog, and then we'll move on to the other sites. Top fallers include Wandale Robinson, um, Kandarius Tony, Pierre Strong, Kendra Miller, Tyquan Thornton, Mac Jones, Paris Campbell, Rashad Bateman, Jaden Reed, and Dalvin Cook. Now, the one to note here is Kandarius Tony. He just went under he went under a, a little surgery on his knee to clean out some of the meniscus in his knee. So, to me, Tony's completely off my boards. I don't want to mess around with this. the The injury risk for him this season is pretty high. I just I don't want to do it. I, I'd rather invest in Sky Moore. I'd rather invest in Richie James, maybe even Rashi Rice. Um, Kendra Miller, he was falling because he wasn't participating and he was put on the camp PUP list, but he's off that. He's practicing the last couple of days for New Orleans, so I expect him to be moving up next week. Uh, a couple of Patriots falling here. Paris Campbell kind of hit his peak, and now he's kind of starting to work his way back down. He's been a big riser all summer, but he looks like he kind of hit his ceiling. Uh, we mentioned Bateman. We mentioned Jaden Reed. Dalvin Cook's an interesting one. If he does sign with the Jets, we're probably going to see his ADP move up, so I don't mind snagging him. Other guys falling right now, Chigo Conquo, Chase Brown, Cole Komet, Robert Woods, and Ty Chandler. Uh, one of the biggest ones that's not really popping here is J.K. Dobbins. He's actually going to be probably the number one faller next week. Uh, the drafts that I've been doing, dude's been falling into the 80s, so he's going to be a huge drop. He's not reporting to camp right now. They put him on the pup list for an injury, but I think it's more contract-related. Uh, and then it looks like the Traylon Burke slide is finally kind of done. He's settling into his ADP around pick number 80. He's like a late seventh round pick right now. Sometimes you can get him in the eighth round. I still like Traylon Burks at ADP. And then, uh, yeah, you guys can check that out. Uh, but let's move over to Drafters. And Drafters is a full PPR site. And um, I like their ADP quite a bit. I think it's a little... Because DraftKings is under uh, is is full PPR as well, but I think Drafters is a little bit sharper with their ADP. So let's see who the top risers are over here. It's going to be some overlapping from the list we just read off, but it's Justin Ross, Zamir White, Tyler Conklin's an interesting one, Clyde Edwards, another new name here. There's Tannehill, there's Kamara, Devontae Parker, Hardman, Trey Lance moving up boards, and then Tyler Algier rounding out the top ten. Rookie tight end Sam Laporta, Sky Moore, Rashad Penny, Kareem Hunt. Jeff Wilson, Tua Tagovailoa. So some interesting names here at the top. Um, we've already talked about most of these guys here. With Tyler Conklin, though, he's he's the number one tight end for Aaron Rodgers this year. And Rodgers has always been uh, pretty efficient with his tight end. So I like snagging Conklin pretty late. He, he just goes, you know, around 15, 16, 17 sometimes, and he's free. You can get him as your tight end two or three. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Alaire is moving up boards. Not sure why. He's the number two behind Pacheco, and they do have Jarek McKinnon uh, there as well. For Edwards to hit on his value, he's going to need an injury to Pacheco or Jarek McKinnon. Or, yeah, basically that's what he needs. Uh, and I'm also keeping tabs on the undrafted rookie there, Daenerys Prince. Um, Alvin Kamara continues moving up boards. We mentioned him. Hardman, Trey Lance. Uh, I like Algier. I've been clicking on him a lot more. I think he's going to be involved in their base packages. He's going to get 8 to 10 touches per game. And if anything happens to Bijan, you got something there. I already talked about Laporta and Sky Moore. I want shares of Rashad Penny. It sounded like he got the first carries. He got the first crack at the, the RB1 spot in the training camp yesterday. So we'll continue to monitor that. I know he's injury prone, but if you can get 8 to 10 games out of him, he might not be a bad pick. We know he's really good when he's healthy. Um, Kareem Hunt moving up boards. I think that's just speculation that he's going to sign somewhere soon. Uh, we mentioned the Dolphins running backs moving up the boards. 
Uh, the rookies, Dalton Kincaid, Jackson Smith and the Jigba, Zay Flowers all moving up boards, uh, as well as Tank Bigsby down here. So those are the top risers over on drafters. Let's go see who the top fallers are. This one, it's Traylon Burks, who, again, he's settling in around that 80 overall ADP. He's dropped a full round in the last week or two since the, the D-Hop signing. So uh, I think he's probably going to be maybe falling a little bit more. He's not going to be at the top of this list next week, but we are getting a discount on Burks now. You can get him in the seventh or sometimes eighth round. Uh, and then a lot of the same names, you know, over on Underdog here. Some new names, though, uh, I guess Bryce Young. I don't know why he's falling. He is the starter for the Panthers. He shouldn't be falling. Uh, Dalvin Cook's a little bit higher on this list. Marvin Jones, Lions receiver falling. I don't know why Jordan Love is falling. Uh, you can get him in the 13th or 14th round right now, but he's – He's falling about half a round, and I don't mind him as my QB, too, especially in best ball leagues. And then Anthony Richardson's also tumbling quite a bit. Um, if you were drafting in May or June, Anthony Richardson was an eighth-round pick, and now he's being, drafting, he's being drafted in the tenth round. He's falling quite a bit. I've gotten him at pick 120 a couple times. Um, so if he's going to continue to fall into that range, I like him as my QB, too. Uh, the other rookie QB here, CJ Stroud. So you have Bryce Young, Richardson, Stroud all falling right now uh i don't mind snagging those guys because they, they they present a good value at your qb2 uh there's Kadarius tony who again next week i think the aftermath of all this news you're going to see Kadarius tony falling you're going to see Brees hall falling uh, i didn't even mention uh today we'll talk about it in my live stream later but joe burrow left practice on a cart uh with a calf strain so we'll talk about that later uh but wandell robinson another quarterback desmond ritter Running backs here, Ramondre Stevenson falling. Again, there's a little bit of nerves about Leonard Fournette signing there. J.K. Dobbins, again, not reporting to camp quite yet. Uh, so some interesting names on the faller list here, and that's all on drafters.com. If you guys are new to drafters, use my promo code to sign up. You guys will get a free $20. Uh, just use the promo code the fellow KGB. Uh, when you go to when you create your account, when you go to deposit, you'll just type in the fellow KGB and you can get your free $20 after deposit. And then let's finish up the video here with DraftKings ADP and the biggest, uh, let's see, the biggest risers over on DK, Sky Moore, Zamir White, Justin Ross. We've seen these guys before. James Robinson, Miko Hardman, Zay Flowers. Um, I really like Zay Flowers. He's an eight, a solid, solid eighth round pick right now. We don't trust Bateman to stay healthy. We also don't trust Odell Beckham to be healthy all season long. So Zay Flowers looks to be like the best Ravens receiver to pick. There's Fournette, Richie James, Kamara, Tannehill. Nico Collins continues to move up board. So a lot of the same names from the other sites here. I do want to mention Gabe Davis and Rasheed Rice are pretty, uh, pretty nice movers on DraftKings up almost three or four spots each. Uh, Tim Patrick, he's been kind of one of the hottest risers over the last couple of weeks. He's starting to kind of cool back down. But wide receiver 78, though, that's still a little bit of a discount. There's Javante, Antonio Gibson moving up almost three full picks. He's almost into the top 180 p on DraftKings. Uh, and you can get him in the beginning of the ninth round. I think that's a pretty good value. Uh, Gus Edwards, we're going to see his value go up as J.K. Dobbins comes down. Keep drafting the rookies, Bigsby, JSN. Uh, I like the second-year receivers here, Dotson and George Pickens, another rookie here in Rashawn Johnson. I think we're going to see Calvin Ridley higher on this list next week. A couple of his training camp videos have been coming out, and he looks really, really good. Uh, he's probably going to be a top 30 pick by the end of next week. And, uh, yeah, check out some of the risers there on this chart. And then the fallers, uh, DraftKings has been the quickest to react to J.K. Dobbins and Kadarius Toney. They're both down about eight and a half spots. Um, Kendra Miller continues to fall here. We're probably going to see Kendra Miller's fall stop this week, though, now that he's in training camp. Uh, and then Traylon Burke. So it's pretty easy to see the biggest losers of the last week. Dobbins, Tony, Traylon Burks. Dalvin Cook continues to fall. Jalen Hyatt's been falling all summer. Uh, Mac Jones, Ezekiel Elliott, Oconquo. Uh, again, there's some more quarterback. Like Anthony Richardson's falling on these sites. Um, Saquon Barkley took a dip uh, because of his contract issues, but he did sign a new contract in his reporting, so that should be fine. Uh, there's Jordan Love falling again. So a lot of the similar names on, on all three sites here, but uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. You guys can check out all of these at thefantasyfellowship.com. Just go to the content tab, and you can click on whatever ADP you need, and then just click on ADP risers and fallers. But uh, there it is. We'll have another update for you guys next week. Uh, there's going to be some big names on there next week. I have a feeling uh, now that we're in training camp, there's a lot of shifting going on, so it should be fun. Check back with me next week. But either way, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Mm -hmm.